Asya Bibi, the Pakistani Christian woman who was on death row in Pakistan for over eight years, has been freed, uh, which is really wonderful, wonderful, news, wonderful yes. news. Unfortunately, though, she's still not safe. She and her family need to be given asylum. They need to get out of the country. Uh, but of course, Islamists want her head and they are continuing to threaten and intimidate. They've even said that the judges that voted for her to be acquitted should be killed. The lawyer, Saif al-Maluk, who defended her and got her acquitted, has had to flee the country. And of course, she's in hiding, which just shows how yeah. ridiculous the situation it's, is. I, I mean, Asya Bibi's case is one of those moments in Pakistani uh, society and history that shows the battle that is going on in, in, in that country. On one, hand, on one hand, you have the Islamists who are trying to sort of completely don dominate society and remove any uh, sign of... Uh, decent society and on the other you have uh, people who are fighting for secularism and and they've been def defending her uh, as well uh, you know the encounter a very innocent encounter uh, in a working field between Asia Bibi and other people turned into a, a huge blasphemy uh, case and the Islamists are of course they're looking so, for, for such opportunities to advance their, their own cause. And one of the things is, of course, that there was really no blasphemy in a sense. She's actually the one who has been the victim in this, where uh, because she drank uh, from a cup that Muslim women drank too, it m resulted in, in an argument. Uh, but the issue is that even if she wasn't innocent, you know, there shouldn't be any blasphemy laws. And of course, what it shows also is that blasphemy laws affect everyone, including religious minorities, but also Muslims who are languishing under blasphemy laws and atheists and others too. So it's really one of those laws that are persecuting anyone and targeting people, scapegoating people uh, when, uh, you know, the, the situation arises. Absolutely. It's a means by which uh, Islamists mean, maintain the, the own dominance and the, the power they have in society. And that's the uh, that that's one of the things that if for any society to free itself the first step is to remove religion and religious law from the public sphere and public institutions and you know you could see the the, the negative in, impact of blasphemy in practice in Pakistan yeah and one of the other things too is of course this whole mob violence and how it results in victims being blamed and uh, Islamists being appeased. You know, we know, for example, that the UK government has re has has really decided not to give Asya Bibi uh, asylum because of security concerns. You know, again, the mob violence is winning. Uh, we've seen uh, situations where the European Court of Human Rights, for example, in a separate case on blasphemy against uh, Muhammad Islam's prophet has uh, said that, you know, hurting religious sentiments could hurt the peace in society. Again, this idea that mob violence is okay. And I think that's why this battle against blasphemy is so crucial. Absolutely. You, you've seen how the Islamists, it doesn't matter what it is, either through blasphemy or, or naked uh, violence. They murder and they kill and remove anybody who opposes them. Uh, uh, the uh, Punjab minister, mm -hmm. Um, was uh, uh, murdered, and the one of the uh, um, uh, one of Asya Bibi's, yeah, who who defended her, uh, um, he he was also uh, assassinated in broad daylight by the Islamists who who do not sort of hide the fact that they are responsible for this, and 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 they use the uh, the excuse of uh, hurt, this this sensibility has been hurt as an uh, uh, excuse to, to commit murder mm. and mayhem in, in, in Pakistani society. I mean, society. I think one of the things that's important is to remember is if you remember when Stephen Fry was uh, accused of blasphemy in Ireland for saying God is cruel and inhuman and so on and so forth, uh, the, the prosecution didn't go forward because the police said that there weren't enough people who were outraged at what he had said. Mm. And I think that's really key in the fight against blasphemy, using it as a weapon to normalize it uh, so that you know it does sort of uh, challenge those who want people's head for for you know what they consider blasphemy absolutely for Pakistani society to move forward and advance they need to remove the power of the Islamists and one of the one of those uh, means by which to maintain the the power and hold in society is blasphemy law Ireland removed blasphemy law recently from uh, uh, the uh, statute book and that uh, Pakistan must follow, and this uh, blasphemy law should be abolished in Pakistan and everywhere.